Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Dodge Journey Crossroad. Uh, now this is a new trim package available in 2015 and uh, this one is in fathom blue with hyper black aluminum wheels. It has a 3.6 liter V6 and a 6-speed automatic transmission. I really like the wheels and the color. The color's pretty unique. The sun's kind of going over the horizon, but hopefully you'll be able to see the color pretty good. And then the the wheels they're aluminum, but they have like a like a black coating, I guess you can say on them. And they're still shiny. They're not like dull or anything. Now this one has the proximity key, so I can lock it and unlock it using just having the key in with me. And I can unlock it if I just put my hand behind the the handle there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in my pocket and um, just kind of leave it there the rest of the video. And so here's the inside of the passenger door. And then we've got a leather trim uh, seats. Now it's got a like a cloth, kind of grippy cloth here in the center, and then leather on the outside with some white stitching. This is black interior. One cool thing about this car is the storage underneath the seat. I think that's really cool. Kind of get stuff out of the way. Now the only issue with that is you don't want to put something in there and then sit down on the seat and then buckle up and start driving and then you just kind of need to get it out. So you want to use that for you know kind of stuff you're not going to need while you're driving um, you know down the road or whatever but it's still, it's still a cool feature. Now this one has the privacy glass in the back. This is not anything we've add, added. The, uh, the tinted glass. And here's the back seat. Same thing with the leather and the, the cloth in the center. And here you have a storage pocket in the floor. Storage bin I should say. Because you have this little plastic liner that kind of comes out. Let's see if I can do this. Do this holding the camera at the same time. Anyway this this liner comes out and um, and then that way you can dump it and stuff and you've got one on this side and on that side hopefully there's enough light sun's going down on me this folds down and that way you have a cup holder and armrest you've got a power supply there now this one has the rear air conditioning rear uh, heat and air conditioning it's a whole climate control back here that's separate from the front. You've got vents and lights in the ceiling there. Now this seat, you can make it go forward and back. You can also fold it flat down like so. You can also, using this handle, um, kind of sandwich it up. Move it forward so you can access the third row. So you can move back here. And then there's a third row seat. And then back here you got cup holders. And then the third row seats are leather and cloth. And you see you have halfway decent amount of leg room. It, knee room. Leg room is kind of shallow. It's not very deep. So, you know, you don't want to put like super tall people in the third row. All right, moving on, you can see I have the crossroad badge here. This one has the backup cam uh, camera as well as the backup sensors. And check out the dual exhaust for the V6. There's the backup camera. The handle is slightly offset to the right, or I should say all the way to the right. You can relock it with this button over here. So back here, um, you've got a got a light right here. So I'm not sure if that's turned off or why it's not turning on. 
maybe the uh, maybe because the light sensor possibly but um, I have to do a video of this vehicle at nighttime so we can see what it looks like but back here we've got like a what appears to be a subwoofer right there or speakers yeah I think it's just speakers back here and then you've got a storage place if it would focus and under here is your tools for changing your tire and these seats do fold down like so and then you can lift it up by pulling the strap up and you lift that back up like so got a power supply kind of grocery bag hangers there and there So it's got a lot of room in this this crossover. It doesn't really, on the outside, it doesn't look like a massive. It's not a massive SUV, and it's not very big, but it's everything's kind of well designed to where it feels like you have a lot of room on the inside. This is a E85 flex fuel vehicle. Now you can see that seat is all is. I moved it forward when I was you know showing you the back seat so you can see the the different uh this one's all the way back and then that one's all the way for forward so that way you can kind of tell how much leg room you would have in the front versus the back we have heated side mirrors here's the inside of the front driver's door you got your stitching bottle holder stuff like that door locks power windows side mirror controls power seat you have it, it slides forward and backward and you had lumbar support but the tilt the back is manual you got manual headlights pop in Seats are very comfortable. They do have, I can feel the lumbar support supporting my back. So now that I have the key in my pocket and I'm in the vehicle, I can put my foot on the brake, push the start button. Everything turns on. I can hear the rear air conditioning turn on. I'm going to turn the climate, well, I'll just turn the fan down here. So here's the steering wheel, and it is a leather wrap steering wheel with some pretty good thickness to it. The cruise controls are on the right hand of the steering wheel, and you have a volume control on the back of the steering wheel. So I can turn the volume up and down, and I can change you the stations on the left side, on the back of the steering wheel. And the cruise control, as long as you got to make sure it's turned on, you see that little icon there? turns on and off you just have to make sure that icon is on before you set the cruise control on this side we've got this has Bluetooth and once you pair your Bluetooth phone you can push that button to answer or make calls just that one button this does have voice recognition as well you can push that button and tell it to tune to a certain station or call a certain person things like that now these arrows and this back button correspond with this menu system here right now we're in vehicle speed so I can hit the back button I can scroll down go I can go into trips I can go back out of that tire pressure I can go into that and see that and it'll show me the exact tire pressure of each tire and go back out of that and go into vehicle info which will give me a whole bunch of different numbers and specs on the vehicle. So and then it keeps it keeps scrolling back to the same thing. So, so I just want to show you. All right. So messages will be stored there. You can turn this menu off if it's distracting you for whatever reason. Um, there's a compass on the top left. There's temperature outside temperature on the top right. And you, right now the vehicle has nine miles on it. So I'm going to go up here, 
vehicle so we can go into vehicle speed. So there's the vehicle speed. It has a pretty good sized dash and it has a kind of smooth look to it. But everything's soft to the touch. It's a soft touch vehicle. So moving on here, this is the 8.4 Uconnect system and it is all a big touch screen and if I'm not mistaken you can upgrade to have a navigation icon down here but starting off we're in the radio screen these are their icons and this one has satellite radio which comes with a new vehicle for a full year for free this is where you'll if you want to play a CD this one actually has a CD player and an SD card input controls this is where you can turn your screen off climate this is where you'll be able to adjust your fan speed here in the front you can also switch it to rear climate so I can turn the fan down back there and I can adjust the temperature and go back to front climate and you know I have the everything there you know just the normal your dual zone temperature you can sync it if you want um, but you can you know adjust everything pretty much phone this is where you would pair your phone and once your phone's paired you'll have favorites at the top air conditioner is blowing on the camera um, phone book recent calls you can dial it's, it'll show a keypad there once you get it um, once you pair your phone you can make calls and all that stuff but one of this feature right here transfer that makes it to where you can if you're in the middle of a call or if you're starting a call that you know you want to be private and you have other people in the vehicle that uh, you don't want them in on the conversation you just hit the transfer button and it'll transfer it back to your cell phone settings are here it has a lot of different things um, you can adjust your you know from your adjusting your clock to your lights your doors and locks uh, all kinds of different things serious setup your compass all that good stuff now at the top you've got your interior temperatures what you have it set there's your exterior temperature your clock your compass and whether you have a CD or whatever is going on with your CD player so down here there's a lot of redundant buttons here your dual zone climate your all your climate stuff your traction control you can turn that off here um, so your radio and your fan speed and your temperatures there CD player and SD card inputs down here we've got a pretty good sized pocket with a power supply cup holders are here now here's the shifter I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse and two things will happen one is the backup camera will display in the screen here and another thing is your park assist uh, which is right here it will tell you that it's ready so if I start backing up and I get close to something it's gonna start beeping at me so that way I can back up and I can see what's behind me and you know in addition to the mirrors and turning my head around and stuff I can you know also have a radar sensor as well so there's a no excuse to you know run over something or hit something you got a, you got plenty of views here so also when I put it in drive is right here I can also put it down here in auto stick feature and I can cycle through the gears by bumping it right or left now here's your armrest and this lifts up and you have like a little belt tray here it comes out and you have a storage space you also have a auxiliary input and a USB input for the radio and you can use them for charging There's your glove compartment, which has a light and pretty decent size. You have auto dim rear view mirror. You've got these tap lights and that articulate to aim it where you want. You've got a place to put your sunglasses, which you also have this uh, conversation mirror. You lift it up right about there and then let go. And that way you can keep an eye on all the back seat drivers. Garage door controls are here, 
visor, mirror. Let's see if this one has, yep, that one has lights too. You can see what it looks like back there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and we're gonna check out the engine. All right, 3.6 liter VVT3 V6. Everything's color coded. The yellow is stuff that you would check on your own. Covering it up with plastic I see again. But hey, that's what they want to do. Which, I mean, a lot of times you don't really lift the hood that much anyway nowadays. There's so many uh, sensors and stuff that you can kind of tell what's going on just by looking at the menu system on the inside of the vehicle. But anyway, if you have any questions, have any corrections, anything that I skipped over or didn't include or got something wrong let me know in the comments and I will see you next time